Hey guys, I'm Song Kyung Long Guest. Um, I'm in Korea, as you guys know, and this is the hotel room we are staying. And I have this second camera because I'm gonna take you to my refrigerator in hotel room. You are ready to see my refrigerator in hotel room? Oh yeah. Here we have a bunch of dried stuff up here. And the refrigerator. Korean snack. Of course, we have suriracha, mustard, and some hot sauce. Gochujang with a little bit of beef, which is really good, just decent rice. Jacob likes this Greek yogurt, and I love Korean yogurt, believe it or not. Drinkable yogurt. Queer egg that already hard boiled. And I got my favorite side dish, which is Muma Lengi. It's a dried radish, it's a spicy and sweet. It's just really delicious. I love this stuff. Okay, we have two different kinds of hummus, and this is for our sandwich provolone. provolone. Grandma and grandpa avocados, they are super old. And we got some raspberry, which is delicious. Oh, and I want to talk about the strawberries. This huge box was only 6,001. The best ever and we have a little kale this is from Korean market baby kales and this is a baby spinach these are for our green smoothie and this is what I'm gonna show you today Korean sam which is a lettuce wrap we have grapefruit which is for green smoothie as well we have grapes for snack I have little Korean peppers which is great with this and gochujang and rice when I don't have any appetite. You can tell, can you guess what this is? This is actually kimchi. Small radish. Kimchi is a Korean ham. Pre-cooked dried rice can make microwave, you can make on the pot, can make in just bowl, and or you can make fried rice. Actually my first time trying it and you guys are with me and let's see what I can do with it. 80 grams of the rice and 125 grams of water and I have no um, measurement or weight. Oh uh, shoot. Shall we just, I don't, I don't think I will measure it. I just, just, uh, just eyeball it. Cover with this. What do you think? I just go like this. <laughs> like this. <laughs> All right, let's go to microwave, and I'm going to cook for three minutes and thirty seconds. Start. Oh, I'm excited. One second left, and it's done. And it's really steamy inside, and I actually smell freshly cooked rice right now. And this is the time of the truth. Oh, okay. So I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna mix it and we have to let it rest for about five minutes. Cover on. It's been five minutes. Da -da -da -da. This is a resort right here. You still have the rice's unique, the chewy texture. I think I will try gimbap chip first because. This is much more fun. Just let's get started. They have these three little kits of burda. This is carrots and panmuji, which is a yellow radish. And we have a kim. You mix this into your rice, so it will give like extra deliciousness flavor into it. This and this. First, season my rice. So I'm adding this dried seasoning for the kimbap, which is a shrimp flavored sesame seeds and I see little um, carrot bits too. Liquid seasoning. Now I'm gonna mix everything together. Oh and if you wanna know how to make mini kimbaps without using this kit, I already have a recipe so you can check it out, my recipe. I'm gonna just open it. I'm just going to open it. Ow, 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 ow! I've cut myself a lot worse than that. Yeah, this is actually perfect size kim right here. This is all the filling, but <gasps> I'm gonna slice some ham. Let's get into it. One kim, put some rice on it. Then, and I'm gonna put some ham on it. You just and you just roll it. Okay, since I'm hungry, I'm gonna try just now. I share most of them with the uh, housekeeper lady, so I have one left. 
probably gonna cook some more rice and then make this. I think I cooked better this time. They look so much better this time. I can make 24 of yubu chobap. Actually, you can make just 12 of them because they always separate half and half. Fried tofu that's soaked in tashi dried uh, rice seasoning again. They have this uh, sushi vinegar. Let's mix the rice with the seasoning. Sushi vinegar. Let's mix this. You have to open this and squeeze out all the excess water. I must really love you to do all this <laughs> in the hotel room. <laughs> Let's get started. Let's get it started. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a singer, okay? It looks like it's just one piece, but then you can just open it like this in the middle. You just kind of gently, not to rip it, but just open it. So after you open it, you just gonna fill this pocket, this tofu pocket with rice. The rice we just mixed up. Not too much, just enough. So I'm kind of bored while I'm making this. So I'm gonna eat one. Ta da! It's kind of pretty cool to make it in the hotel room, and you can actually keep this in the refrigerator for about one day to two days because it has a vinegar in it and vinegar and sugar will keep this um, the food last a little longer so it's perfect to make like a day ahead for your lunch box or things like that and work for picnic and stuff so this is this is pretty cool I'm like not tied up at all when I'm talking because it's totally a vlog not like a cooking show because <laughs> when I'm when I'm doing Asian at home I'm like oh, tighten up and like talking out loud and really cleanly but right now I have no pressure about it so I don't know if you guys like that part or not maybe comment down below let me know or thumbs down if you didn't like that part or thumbs up if you like that part because this is more kind of my natural part but I understand it's a little more hard to understand me because I'm like all over the place with this strong Korean accent <laughs> but anyways let me know what you want to see in Korea because I want to show you what you want to see if you're in Korea or what you are wondering throw some idea for me and if you like it um, give me thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more Korean videos and more delicious Asian recipes on my channel um, and yeah today this is it I will see you next time Bye! Mwah!